Um. Uh, hello. Ah! I think you might be snooping around places you shouldn't. Please, let me go. And why would I do that? If you do, I'll leave and never come back, I swear. Liar, I know your type. Well, uh, if you're not going to let me go, what are your secrets? My secrets? <laughs> I'm not sure what you want to know. Oh, but since you asked. As a child, all I wanted was to be a star athlete. And I had the talent and drive to be one. I was a track star, a baseball star, and a volleyball star. I mastered every sport I could to achieve my dreams. I was the pride of our school's athletic department. No one could beat me. And eventually, they stopped trying altogether. Growing up, I always felt like my dreams would come true. Unfortunately, one day, I learned the hard way that it rarely ever works out that way. No one even knew I was out there. I was too hurt to get up, and I was sure no one would come looking for me. Until, out of nowhere, the school nurse found me. She saved my life. I was injured pretty bad. Of course, I needed more help than the school nurse could provide. But she carried me all the way to her office because I couldn't walk. She took care of me until the ambulance arrived. But it turned out that the injury was too bad for me to continue my sports journey. I had to give up everything I'd always dreamed of. I was heartbroken. Sports were my one and only passion in life. Though, in a way, I became inspired. The school nurse saved my life. And if I couldn't be a star athlete, I wanted to be just like her. So, I went to nursing school in hopes to do for others what she did for me. And the perfect opportunity arose. A local kindergarten hiring for a school nurse? It's exactly what I was looking for. It almost felt too good to be true. <laughs> Silly me. If only I knew then what I know now. But not knowing any better, I went to the kindergarten for my interview. And that's where I met him. In that moment, everything changed for good. Hello, I'm Ban Ban the founder and principal of this kindergarten. It was love at first sight. Ugh, everything about him was perfect, and I knew we were meant to be. Hi, I'm, uh, hi. I kind of bombed that interview, but I was the only applicant, so I got the job by default. And even if I got off to a rocky start, the parents and children took to me right away. While I appreciated all the love, it wasn't exactly who I wanted it to be from. Oh, my beloved Ban Ban. He still had my heart. I was determined to have his. Somehow he ignored all the signs. I bought us breakfast every morning. Here you go. I picked up extra just for you. Wow, you're the best friend a guy could get. <sighs> I wrote him inspirational notes. Look, I know why you're upset, but there's no way something like that could have happened at my school. There's no monsters here. What's this? And finally, I got more direct. Hey, Ban Ban, would you wanna come for dinner tonight? Why, of course I would. Really? Yeah, my friend's in town, he can come along too. It will be all of us buddies hanging out. I thought I was being pretty clear in my intentions, but eventually I realized, despite all my efforts, it wasn't meant to be. I was heartbroken. My dreams of sports fame had been ruined long ago, and now my dreams of true love also seemed impossible to obtain. I felt lost, abandoned, was wrong, too tight. Can I tell you something? Of course. I saw something the other day. And it scared me. There was a strange door at the end of one of the hallways, he said. He'd never seen it before. A heavy metal door always stuck shut and locked. But one day, it was open. And being a young kid, he was curious. So, he walked in. Ah! 
He told me he saw monsters. I told him it was just his imagination. But what came next? I don't know how he could have made it up. I hoped he just imagined it, but I had a bad feeling. Because the next day, Marcus's parents pulled him from Ban Ban's kindergarten, and he wasn't the only one. One by one, Ban Ban's kindergarten became a shell of its former self as children kept leaving with no explanation. Ban Ban! I know you're in there! I'm busy. Come back later. Ban Ban, there's something seriously wrong. We need to- I said I'm busy. He was no longer leaving his office. I had a feeling he was hiding something. I hated to betray my Ban-Ban, but if he wasn't going to help investigate, I'd have to do it alone. So one night, I took matters into my own hands, and I broke in. Thankfully, coming in early and leaving with Ban-Ban every day, I'd figured out the lock combination. And strangely enough, Ban-Ban left his door unlocked, but I wasn't complaining. I took the master key. I had to find this door I'd heard about. Well, there you go. No monsters after all. Though, this thing is pretty creepy. Now, now, manners. No need to be afraid. It's me, your Ban-Ban. You are not my Ban-Ban. What, what, what happened to you? Allow me to show you. I shouldn't jump on my ankle, but I guess I have no choice. Ban-Ban, I don't know what happened to you, but you're still the same Ban-Ban I knew. You're good at heart, you, you love people, you, you love children. It, you've never let me get hurt. So pull me up and we can talk about this. <sighs> I knew you'd come around. Ban-Ban, what are you... Let go of me. Let go of me! It was too late for me. I know now what the kids had seen, and it was happening to me. I fought as hard as I could, but Ban Ban was too strong. But if he did that to you against your will, why would you want that to happen to me? Like you said to him, you wanted to help people. You're good at heart. That was then. Now I've grown fond of this new body. And besides, it means I get to be alongside my Ban-Ban forever. He did save my life after all. And what more could I want than that? Look, if I were you, I'd take a hit and get over him! <laughs> <laughs>